Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. Today in this lecture, we'll solve a problem based on second and fourth quadrant together. So let's read the question. So here, the question reads, the plan of 100 mm line PQ measures 80 mm. So the plan of 100 mm line, so this 100 mm would be the true length. I'll write my given here. So my true length would be 100 mm. Now the plan of 100 mm line PQ measures 80 mm. That means the plan will measure 80 mm and the plan is PL or you can say it is the top view 80 mm. Next line the point P is 30 mm in front of VP. So it says point P is 30 mm in front of VP. So when a length or anything is related to VP, it is always in, uh, in context with the top view. So this would be my P point, which is in front of VP. So it is 30 mm in front of VP. And the end Q is 50 mm above HP. When it is HP, it would be related to the front view. So my Q would be Q dash because in front view, we, we notate this as dash. So this is Q dash which is 50 mm above HP. Now, please take a note that here two different locations for two different points are given. P is given that is related to top view and Q dash is given that is related to front view and Q is the end point and P is the start point of for line PQ. Now it says point P is in fourth quadrant and end Q is in second quadrant. So the end P is fourth quadrant and end Q is second quadrant. What does this mean? This means that my P dash and P both or I'll write it here my P dash and P would be below XY line because it is in fourth quadrant and my end Q dash and Q would be above XY line as it is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, we get both the points above xy and in fourth quadrant, we get both the points below xy. So now let us read the next line. The line is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Now angle related to VP is related to top view and also it is directly uh, at an inclination with the VP, so it would be our phi angle. So this is phi. 30 degree, which will be giving us the true length. Okay. Now, draw its projections. Also find its inclination with HP. Now, let us mark the given into our question. Okay. So, what I have? So, first of all, I will mark the points those are given. So, this is P that is 30 mm in front of VP. And I know that P is in fourth quadrant, so both the points would be below XY. So I'll take, I'll measure 30 mm below XY. Thirty mm below XY, and this would be my point P 
which is 30 mm and now I will draw a locus, once you get a point always draw a locus. I have my P point now, now next is Q dash, so Q dash and Q both would be above XY line as they are in second quadrant, so it is 50 mm above XY, so anywhere you can measure, so from XY line I will take 50 mm and that would be my Q dash and I will mark my locus. So, this would be locus of Q dash because for Q we will be having two points that is one for true length and one for front view or top view. So, for Q dash also we will have two points, one will be the front view and other will be the true length. So, I will just name it as locus because we do not know the exact point about uh, for both the points for the front view and also for the true length. So, now this is my xy line, I have marked my p, I have marked my locus for q dash. Now, I will take the other given data. So, it is given as phi is 30 degree and phi is the angle related to top view on which we can plot true length or this is the angle associated with the true length in the top view. So, what I will do is I will mark 30 degree I will mark 30 degree and I will mark 30 degree towards Q because Q is in second quadrant. So, the end point Q would be going up in this direction that is why I will mark 30 first. Once I mark 30, I will draw a line. And then I know that this angle is associated with the true length. So, I will take true length on my compass that is 100. And I will mark it on this line. If you can see this, this line. Now, I have this as my P and this would be Q. So, locus, so as I have one point from the top view, I will mark this and I will draw a locus. So, this would be locus of Q and this is P and this, this would be Q2 and this line is my true length. So, this line is my true length, I will just rub off the extra lines. Now, as I have my true length, my next thing would be to plot the P L part. So, P L is the top view. So, what uh, and it is given to be 80 mm. So, I can I already have the locus for Q and which is the locus for the top view. So, I can directly mark 80 mm onto that locus. So, I will take 80 mm on my compass. ATMM on, on my compass and I will directly mark it on the locus of Q and that would be my top view. So, this is P and this would be Q. This angle is phi, this angle is beta. Now, I already have both the lines that is top view, this is my top view and this is my 
true length for the top view. Now I will write what we have. So, as I know that if I have true length for the top view, if I wrote, if I drop that, I would get elevation length and if I rotate elevation length, I would get my front view. Now, if I have true length from front view, if I drop it, I will get plan length and if I rotate this, I will get top view. So, what data I already have is I have true length of top view, I have top view, only these two the data we have. So, the true length of the top view I have and top and the top view. So, if I rotate my top view, I would get my PL and if I drop that, I would get my true length for the front view. So, I will follow this. So, what I will do is, I will take this is my top view, I will rotate that to get my PL and I already know that my PL would be on the locus of P. So, I will take this and I will drop it, I mean rotate it to get this point that would be my PL. Now, once I have my PL, if I drop that, I would get true length of front view and already I have the locus of front view. So, I can directly directly drop this to that locus. So, once I drop this to locus of Q dash, here I would get my first point from the front view. But now where do I join this? This would be, this is on the Q dash line, so this point would be Q1 dash because when I drop this line, I would get my true length of front view and the true length of front view, we got our first point on locus of Q dash. So, this would be Q1 dash, but where should I mark my P dash because I do not have that line. But one thing which I know is my P, P and P dash should be on the same line that is collinear. So, what I will do is I already have my true length measurement. So, I will take my true length on my compass. And what I do is from Q, I would mark my P dash point. Now, why I am marking it below x, y or in the downward direction here? Because it is in fourth quadrant, which is already given in the question. So, now I mark this point as P dash and I, as I have my one point, first point from P here. So, what I will do is I will mark a locus. And this line here would be true length for the front view. Now, I have completed this. So, I had top view. I just rotated it to get my PL distance. So, this point would be Q1, I dropped, I rotated this to get my Q1 and then I dropped it to get my Q1 dash that is the true length. Now, I have all the three parts here. Now, next I will come to this point. So, I have true length of top view. If I drop it, I would get my EL. So, where is my this is my true length of top view. So, if I drop it, I would get my EL and I would get my EL on the uh, on the locus of P1 dash here. So, uh, what I will do is, I will drop this till this point and this would be Q1 
dash. So, once I have this line that is I dropped it here to get E L, then once I get my E L what I will do? I will rotate it to get my front view. So, what I will do is I will take this distance and I will rotate it to get my front view. So, this is P dash, this would be Q dash and this is my front view. So, this is phi, this is theta and this would be alpha. So, now in the question we have been asked find its inclination with h p. With h p that means we have to find theta here. So, my theta if I measure So, my theta if I measure it is 45 degrees, so I get 45 degrees here. So, this is the complete solution for a question where I had my first point in the second quadrant and the la end point in the fourth quadrant. So, from second quadrant the lines are traveling to the, se to the second quadrant. So, this is how you solve a problem like this. Thank you. Hope you understood.